Right, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Day two of cleaning this Skoda. In the last video you would have seen, we gave the interior of this thing a gut out, took all the seats out, cleaned everything, put it all back in, and this thing on the inside looks really good. I'm very happy with it. Today we're gonna to be focusing on the exterior of the car and also under the bonnet. I wanna give the engine bay a really good clean on this car because it looks like it's been off-roading. It's so muddy and filthy in the engine bay. I honestly don't know how it's happened. So that leaves a really good clean. Um, it's the first time I'm actually gonna be watching an engine bay today. I've never had to clean an engine bay uh, like with a hose and actually properly clean it. I usually get away with just spraying like a little cleaner on it and wiping it with a rag, but this time I'm gonna go all in and I'm gonna properly clean this engine bay today and get it looking a lot better. Um, the exterior is gonna get cleaned as well. It's not really that filthy, this car's not that dirty, but it hasn't been cleaned for at least a year. It didn't get cleaned in 2020, um, and I don't know when it was last cleaned before that. So I'm gonna give it a good clean. The wheel wells are pretty filthy, and there is a lot of marks on this car. I'm not going for perfection as I'm not a detailer, um, but if we can get this thing looking a lot better than it does, I'll be very happy. Right, so I'm gonna give you a quick walk around of the car just so you can see um, the state that it's in at the moment. Uh, it's not really that filthy, like I said. It has got some ingrained dirt on it from where it's been sitting for so long that it's just sort of etched into the paint. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on camera. It probably looks quite clean, but there is a bunch of um, dirt on here that just really dulls down the, the shine of this car. Because it's a black car, these can come up really nice if they're cleaned properly. Um, however, at the minute, it just looks really dull, kind of looks like a gray color as well. Uh, and I really want to rectify that today. So this is the back. Like I said, not too bad, not awful. Certainly in need of a good clean. Uh, this is the driver's side. Again, it's not too bad. I've got a few mud marks and stuff and I do want to sort the scratch out at some point. I'm going to do a video on its own of sorting this key scratch out because it goes all the way down the driver's side of the car. And I'm not very happy about it, so I will be sorting that at some point. The wheels and wheel wells are probably the filthiest part of this car. You can see the tyres are just disgusting, the wheels are disgusting, and the wheel arches. I don't know if you can see that in there. I don't even know, was that just a clump of mud? Yeah, just a mud clump in there. So they really need a good clean. So I'll give them a good seeing and too. The front of the car's not too bad. I'll just show you under the engine bay, because this, again, is probably one of the worst affected areas. You can see straight away that this thing is filthy under here. We've got grime, grime, dirt. Like I said, this thing looks like it's been doing laps at an off-roading course. It's, it's really, really grubby. Even the engine there, you see? So we'll give all that a really good clean today. I'll make sure I give under the bonnet a nice clean as well. Like I said, this will be my first time cleaning under the engine bay properly with a hose and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully it all goes to plan. That's that. And then the rest of the car is pretty much just the same, just generic dirt. This thing's just gonna get, you know, a snow foam, shampoo. Yum Cars have sent me their new wax to try out and this might be a really good car to try it on. So we'll probably try that today as well. Yep, I think that's enough. Um, let's get started on this thing. Um, as always, I want to give a massive shout out to Yum Cars. They support the channel, proudly support the channel. They hook me up with all my cleaning products that I need. If I'm ever short of something, I hit them up and they just send it straight out. Um, they've been fantastic and they've helped me keep my cars sparkling clean uh, for at least a year now. I've been working with them, so big shout out to them. They've sent me some new stuff, which I just want to show you quickly. Um, since I last filmed a cleaning video, whenever it was, quite a while back, they have released some new bits and pieces, so I just want to share that with you, and then we'll get cracking. Right, so here is a few of their new products. The biggest thing for me is the buckets that they came out with, and um, they launched these a few months ago, and they are, quite honestly, and it sounds really stupid to say, the best buckets that I've ever seen in my life. Um, not just because they look cool visually, they've got their, they put their mark on them by putting their logo and stuff. Um, these are genuinely, and Nick told me this himself, Probably the best buckets that you can buy on the market, um, especially for detailing. These are made in the USA. They have gamma seals, they have grit guards, um, and they are just, you know, he, he picked the best bucket, you know, the actual physical plastic bucket that you can. Um, so these are, you know, as good as you can get. You've got these gamma seals on top, which these things screw on and off, so they're threaded. So you can spin them, take them off, and you can obviously seal stuff in there. You can see we've got a grit guard, in there as well. I haven't actually used this bucket yet, I've used this one. This one is my, the black one is my dedicated wheels bucket and I've got two white ones, this is just one of them um, and I use this one for the body. In this one I've got a bunch of the brushes that they've released quite recently as well which is these, these are the wheel brushes. There's all different sizes, there's a big one but you've got smaller ones like so. So this is my dedicated wheel bucket, I keep all my wheel related stuff in that one. The few times that I've actually had to use these buckets, so far they have worked perfectly, so I'm very happy with them. Um, also, 
We've got a couple of actual physical liquid products that they've released recently. One of them being a Yum Wax, as you can see. Got a nice pink coloured bubblegum looking liquid. Um, a nice little nozzle on top as well. Like I said, I'll probably use it today on the Skoda and I'll give you an idea as to how that works. Um, and then we've also got something I haven't tried yet, which is the Yum Undress. As you guys may have seen in the videos, uh, Yum Cars have got a product called Dress, which is used on tyres and plastics and stuff like that to bring them back to life. Um, and to give them a shine. Well, this is an undress which works as a cleaner. So before you put the dress on the tires, you put this on to take all the dirt and all that sort of stuff off so that when you put your dress on, it lasts longer and adheres better. Um, like I said, I haven't tried this yet. So this is gonna be a first today. This is the first thing I'm gonna use because I'm gonna be doing the tires first. Um, so I'll see how that works. And then we've got what I think is their latest release, which is this Yum Cars Yum Glass, uh, which is basically a ceramic coating for your glass. Um, it helps protect the glass, it helps the glass to bead the water off, so if it rains, uh, the rain will bead off. We'll see how we get on, I may end up using this today, if not I'll do a, a video on its own, um, so you can see how that works. And then, this is just like a little applicator pad that you get with the wax. Uh, it's just one of their little yum applicators, you can see I've used it once before. Um, that just goes along with the wax and it helps you to put it on the car better. So that's just a few things that they've added. If you guys want to check any of this out, obviously uh, I'll put the link in the description. You can use my code if you want to get a little bit of money off. It helps me out and it saves you a little bit of cash as well. So, Right, so I'm going to start off by just pressure washing down the car. Um, I'm just going to rinse off everything, especially the wheels and in the wheel wells, where it's the most dirty. I'm just going to go ahead and spray everything down. Right, so the next job is uh, I'm going to try out this Yum Dress, Undress, sorry. Um, I've, like I said, I've never tried this before, brand new bottle. Uh, you spray this on the tyres and essentially uh, scrub it in with a brush. I've got a little brush here. That's essentially supposed to prep these tyres uh, ready for um, when you put the dress on afterwards. So we'll give this a go. Open the bottle up. It's like a gel as well. It comes out like a gel, so it should stick to the tyre quite well. Gonna let that dwell for a minute. I'll do the other wheels while I'm waiting. You can see that uh, brown there it's eating away at the dirt from the tire, but you can see that it's almost like it's oozing out of the like the rubber. Hard to tell uh, whether it's worked while the wheel's still wet, but once it dries. I'm then going to come in here with just the Yum Wheels Cleaner. I'll do the tyre again as well, just because a bit of excess. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do the barrel as well. I'm going to use one of these barrel brushes. I'm going to spray a little bit of the Yum Wheels on it. And just I'm going to spray a little bit inside the actual barrel as well. And then just give it a little tickle. I'm using the Yum Cars large uh, woolly thing to do the wheel arch liners. I sprayed some of the tire cleaner up in there as well and uh, I'm just giving it a good agitation with the brush. It's doing wonders. Oh the rain's getting worse. This is not ideal. 
Oh, it's, it's hailing. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's hailing now. I don't know why this always happens to me, but it's now raining. Just as I start cleaning the car. Bloody typical. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna carry on uh, doing the wheels. I'll do the other three off camera. You've seen my techniques, you've seen the um, the tire cleaner in action, which so far, very happy. It works so quickly. So I'm gonna do the rest of the wheels and then I'll bring you back in after I've done that because it is just the same process one after the other. And hopefully by then, this rain mat stopped. So luckily the rain decided to stop. Um, it was only a brief shower and then it went away. I've done all four wheels now. They've all now been hit with the yum undress on the tires and also in the wheel wells. I'm not sure if that stuff is intended to work in the wheel wells, but because it works so well at breaking down um, like dirt and stuff like that, it worked ever so well in the wheel arches combined with one of those um, like wheel arch brushes. So the wheel compartments are completely done. I think I've got about enough time and enough light to get the engine bay done. So that's gonna be my next task. I wanna get that done as it's probably the dirtiest place on the car. I want to get that clean before I clean the outside of the car because otherwise if I do it the other way around chances are when I clean the engine bay um, it's going to splat everywhere it's going to go all over the outside of the car and ruin what I've done previously so engine bay's next uh, degrease and also I'm going to use the pressure washer on it as well so this should be fun I just wanted to give you a quick look at how these wheels now look this is one of the rear ones this tyre is almost dry I know it doesn't look like it it's a tiny bit wet but it's mostly dry and you can see just how clean that is. The wheel wells as well. And if you can see in there, probably need to get a light for that, but they're looking pretty decently clean in there as well. So I'm quite impressed that the wheel cleaner actually managed to get the yellowing off this. Uh, because these wheels haven't been cleaned in so long, the brake dust had like ingrained itself into the clear coat and it turned parts of it yellow around here. I'll insert a clip so you can see what it was like, but um, I've done two treatments of the wheel cleaner on this and that's completely got rid of the yellow. They need a refurb. They're not in good condition, these wheels, but at least they're not yellow anymore. That's a good, good start. Right, so this is gonna be the plan with the engine bay. So as you can see, the underneath of the bonnet is dirty. So I'm gonna clean that first, because if I clean this first, all the dirt from this will fall onto that. So I'm gonna degrease all this, give that a wash off. Once that's clean, I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to cover up my alternator, which is just here. There seems to be some people that say that you need to cover up things like batteries and alternators. Some people say you don't. For the sake of it, I'm going to. I'm gonna put a carrier bag just over the top of that, just so I don't spray any water directly into it. I'm not gonna cover up the battery because I don't think that matters at all. So the only thing I'm gonna try and protect a little bit is the alternator, um, but everything else is gonna get a coat of degreaser. I'm gonna use a brush and work it all in to all the areas that I can reach. Um, and then we'll give it a jet off and hopefully it'll look a lot better and I'll dress up a few little areas that I need to, like the air box, the plastics and stuff. I'll put a bit of yum dress on them and hopefully they'll come up nicely, so. Now, unfortunately, in my array of multiple Yum Cars products, unfortunately, they don't actually have like a dedicated engine degreaser yet. So this is what I'm gonna use instead. I've got this bottle, um, which you, you dilute the spray into, but this is what it is. It's Valet Pro Classic All-Purpose Cleaner. It's basically a degreaser. You can use it inside the car, you can use it outside the car, and you can use it in the engine bay. It's just really good at um, degreasing. It foams up really nicely. I've diluted this at about five to one, so, so five lots of water to one lot of that is about what I've got in here. Um, so I'm going to spray this all over and I'm just going to agitate it with a brush. Hopefully that'll clean it up nicely. I'm now gonna go ahead and rinse the engine bay off as well. Um, you can see I've put a kelp bag on the alternator just to protect it a bit. All right. Spray all this down. Everywhere. I'll let it soak for a few minutes and then agitate. These 
brushes are ever so good. These are the young cars ones. And because they're so soft, there's something about the way they're built that they cause that foaming. A stiffer brush wouldn't do that. But something about these ones that just help it to foam up. Right, now I know this is still wet, so it's kind of hard to tell what's going to look like in the finished product, but um, I can already see that this is looking way better. Um, there was loads of dirt on these caps, like this one here, and on the brake fluid one, that was all brown. It was all brown all around here, and this was pretty dirty as well, but all of that is now gone, and we're looking pretty damn clean, if I do say so myself. Um, and look, this stuff, I'll be honest, I've never used it before, but it is fantastic. I've not even diluted it very strong either, but it does such a good job at attacking the dirt. Um, under here as well, if you can see that, this is all now nice and shiny. There is no longer any dirt on that. Um, just with a little agitation with the brush and a spray on, I let it dwell for about sort of two or three minutes and sprayed it off and this is what we're now looking like. I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna leave this to dry and then I'm just gonna put some yum dress on things like the air box, because it's plastic, um, on some of these battery bits and also the intake and then I'll put it on this little cover on here. Basically anything that's plastic will get a little coat of Yum Dress just to, just to give it that dark color um, and make it look a little bit newer. My next port call is gonna to be to snow frame this thing. So I want to show you the tires. Um, as I said, I used the new Yum Undress on these. Uh, first time using it, never tried the product out before. So this was kind of like a test to see what it was like. These tires were absolutely filthy before I used that stuff. And as you can now see, they are lovely and clean. Um, it really ate away all that dirt, which has been on there for at least a year. And those tires now look perfect and they're ready and prepped. They're all squeaky clean, ready for um, Yum Dress to go on once we've actually cleaned and washed the car. Here's the front one as well. You can see just how clean they are. It's done a fantastic job of that. For good measure, because I've just got a little bit of this left, I'm gonna spray this around the, the bottom portions of the door and uh, like the side of the car where it gets most affected maybe that'll get rid of some of the like the grounding stuff spread around the front as well I'm gonna go around and agitate with a brush um, all of the like nooks and crannies, all these bits, before I rinse it off.
Cheers. Mm. Oh, I need that. All right, so as you can see, I've got two buckets. Yum Cars sent me two white ones, one for a uh, for the shampoo to go in, and the other one's just gonna be water, which is just gonna be a rinse bucket. Each bucket has got grit guards in. This is what the grit guards look like. You just push them in yourself, and you can obviously pull them out if you wanna like rinse the bucket out or wash it out properly or something. But they just push in there like that. Got one in the other one as well. So this one's just gonna be filled with just uh, straight water. This one's gonna be water, then uh, the Yum Car shampoo's gonna go in there. I just made a boo-boo, I accidentally just dropped my mitt that you normally use on the floor. It's now got mud all over it, so I'm gonna to have to make do. I don't wanna use that unless I wash it. Um, so I'm gonna to have to make do with a microfiber sponge. Uh, it's nice and soft, so it's not gonna do any scratches, but it wouldn't have been my first choice. Right, I've got my buckets. I've got my fresh water in that one. My soap in that you can't really see it because the bucket's white as well. Got my soapy water in that one, so I'll put my sponge in. What I'm going to do, and this is what I usually do, I know I've snow foamed it once already, but I've got some snow foam left in my cannon, as you can see half of it left. So to give me extra suds and extra lubrication, um, I'm going to go ahead and spray the rest of this on, and then I'll go at it with my sponge and bucket, um, and that'll just give me more soap to work with, which is always good. I almost forgot, um, I wanted to do the inside of the the doors. What are they called? Uh, my brain's gone. Inside here, <laughs> I wanna just uh, go over that with the um, sponge and also just wash it off, because there's quite a bit of dirt built up in here. And also sort of up in here. The door shuts, that's the one, door shuts. I don't know why I can think of that. So I'm just gonna quickly go over them with the, the old sponge. We're gonna have it too wet. It's a little bit wet. And just go in here and a little bit of a wash down. Right, this is where we are. The car has been washed and it's now sort of drying on its own. I went ahead and cleaned inside the door shuts like I just showed you, and they look a lot better now. Not got all the mud and stuff down them. They're all nice and clean. I cleaned around the doors as well. So that's all clean. I'm gonna go ahead and start drying now. This is my go-to. Yum Detailer is a good drying aid, essentially. I use the drying towel from Yum as well. Um, these two as a combination is fantastic. I spray this on. Uh, and it essentially works as like a water repellent. So once you spray it on, it's hydrophobic, the water will start to come away. And then I'll just go in there with a the drying towel and just pick up the rest of it. It's a, it's a pretty good little method.
Right, so the car's nice and dry now. I've just dried it off with the um, the towel and the Yum detailer. Looking pretty good. Ignore the moisture inside the car. Got a little bit of condensation on the uh, front window there, but that's not a problem. Next up, before it gets too dark, we are losing a bit of light, so I'm hoping to get this done before that happens. I'm finally gonna get to try the Yum Wax. Um, like I said, I've done a little test piece on the back spoiler a few weeks ago when I first got this, but I've not actually properly used it yet. So it's apparently really easy to apply. You just put it on this pad here, which is what they've also supplied. A little hex pad, put a few drops on that work it into the area, let it dry for about sort of 30 seconds and then buff it off. That's the plan. Um, I'm going to do the whole car. This is going to take me a little while, but I think it's going to be worth it. So this has got like a little spout. So I'm just going to put a few drops on there, like so. And then we're going to work it in. Just going to do circle motions. I'm covering the whole thing. It goes on so nicely. A fairly thin liquid, to be honest. You can see, it's quite runny. All right, that's as easy as that. That's half the bonnet already done within a matter of like 20 seconds. I'm assuming it's a cow and chrome. We'll see. All right, that's the whole bonnet done. Go get a microfiber. We'll just quickly check the bottle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but it says uh, to leave to cure for five to 10 minutes. I was gonna wait 30 seconds. So um, I'm gonna do the rest of the car whilst that's curing. I'm gonna get it all waxed up. And then by the time I've done the rest of the car, um, I should be out, come back to the bonnet and that'll be ready to be buffed off. Here we go. These scratches that are on here, um, they're almost disappearing from putting this on. Look at this scratch. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. There's a scratch here on the front. I'm going to put the wax on. Oh, it's like disappeared. It's gone. Can you see that? That's fantastic. I'm just buffing this wax off now, but the trouble is it's getting dark, but also it's sort of like it's so cold that there's moisture in the air. I don't know if you can see it. Where it's hazed up, there's sort of the moisture is clinging to it as well. So I'm having to buff off wax, but it's also kind of a bit moist, which is not great. It's not the perfect time to be waxing your car, to be honest, but I really need a warmer day for this. But you know, as soon as I buff it off, I can see the moisture just like coming back straight away. Right, it's the next day now. Um, unfortunately, the weather has not got any better. If anything, it's actually worse now, it's colder. It's zero degrees, misty, and there's like moist in the air. You can feel it in the air, um, it's moisture. So. I'm not hoping to be out here for too long today. Uh, my plan is uh, the wax is done. I got that done yesterday. I'm going to apply the dressing and I'm going to clean the glass on the inside and that's me done. This thing's not going to be perfect just because the weather conditions are really making it hard for me, but it'll definitely look a lot better than it did. I'll just give you a quick look around it now. Now that it's been waxed, you can see we've got a bit of uh, depth and definition into the paint. Um, that black is starting to shine more than it did. It looks a bit better. As you can see, I'm pretty happy with it. You can see that bonnet's got a nice reflection on it now. Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to treat the tyres. Um, just put a bit of tyre dressing on them. I'm also going to put a bit on the plastics that run down the side of the car. Um, but other than that, I think that's going to be it. My go-to tyre dressing, uh, obviously, Yum Car's dress. I've got the applicator pad as well, which makes it easier to apply. It should take really nicely now that these have been prepped because they're nice and clean after using the undress. So here's a before of what the tires look like undressed and that's after that's with the dressing on um, looks fantastic i like to leave it for a little while to dry this car's obviously not going anywhere at the moment but that should soak into the rubber um, and uh, look nice for quite a while i'm also going to go ahead and do this door trim it's 
To be fair, the store trim was not all that faded, but you can see the difference. This is the treated, and then that's the untreated. I've seen worse. Right, in terms of cleaning, that is now done. The tires have been treated. I've gone around and done all the trim. I've done it all around the windows. I did the mud flaps. I did the side panel things. I did the rear wiper, as you would have seen. That just like is night and day, how much better that looks. I did the rear diffuser and also anything else that I could see. There's one job left, and this is more uh, MOT prep than anything. I've got some new windscreen wipers. Because this car's been sitting for so long and the wipers haven't been used, um, they've like dried up and every time you use them now it smears over the windscreen uh, I know that's going to be an MOT failure so I'm going to change these over I've got uh, two for the front and then a little one for the rear and uh, then we'll be officially finished and we'll be ready for the MOT for this thing Alright, there's the rear one done as well is the old. I'll be honest, this thing's not up to my uh, usual standards, but again, I will blame it on the weather. Um, it's just really not car cleaning weather when you're outside, so uh, it's not, it doesn't look as good as what I would like it to, but um, it looks a lot better than it did, and that's kind of the main thing. It's now clean and protected. It's got the wax on it, so that should help to keep it clean for a while to come. This is what it now looks like. You can see it looks a lot better. Everything's nice and shiny, which is what we like. The wheels look a lot better. They're not yellow anymore and they've got the lovely tire dressing on which I am a big fan of. Right, I want to do a quick little test, a little wax test. I've got the Yum Cars wax sitting there. As you know, I've coated this car. I've got a jug of water here. I'm going to pour some on the bonnet of this and then I already just tried it on this car to see what it looked like. Um, I'm going to pour a bit on the bonnet of the Mondeo which hasn't been treated in... I don't think it's ever had waxed actually. So this is just a completely untreated car versus a freshly waxed car with Yum Wax. If we pour it on this car first, I'll show you what happens. I just pour a bunch of water on it. It does run off, but it also forms just a wet patch, as you can see, and that'll just stay on there now until it dries. Whereas if we come over to the Skoda, freshly treated, I'll pour the water on this. You can see it all running away. All beading off. So that is with the wax, and that's without the wax. Something I failed to mention when I was doing the waxing is for the best results, for the best possible outcome with this stuff, it's recommended to um, clay bar your car. This car has got a lot of grit on it. It really needs a clay bar and a polish this thing, like a machine polish, but obviously I ain't got time for that. But if you wanna get ultimate results, it's worth um, getting a clay bar or a clay mitt and just going over the whole car and get rid of all the grounding grit and then you'll get a better finish with this. Right, well that's where I'm gonna end this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Given the Skoda good clean that it hasn't had for at least a year, for at least a year. Um, this thing's looking really good now. It's ready for the MOT. I'm very excited to see how it gets on. If it does fail, you may see more videos on this thing. I am gonna film the MOT day just in case um, it does fail and I can sort of document the process. If it does pass, it's gonna be a really short video. Keep your fingers crossed for me anyway. Uh, now, if you've made it to the end of this video, which I know a lot of people don't, some people click off. I know not everyone's a fan of detailing stuff, so people get bored quickly. It's not a problem, but if you have made it to now and you're still watching right now, these products that you can see behind me, you will be in a chance of winning them. Um, I'm gonna do a giveaway. Yum Car sent me these out quite a while ago to do a giveaway, just never got around to it, but I figured, I just now filmed a detailing video, I may as well give away these right now. So, there's a few things you have to do to enter this giveaway. Number one, you have to be subscribed to me. I know most of you probably will be, but if you're not subscribed to me, make sure you subscribe down below. Another thing is Yum Cars are trying to get their YouTube channel to take off. Um, they are uploading really regularly and their videos are really good. So another thing you'll have to do is subscribe to their YouTube channel. You can literally just search in YouTube, Yum Cars, it'll come up. Make sure you subscribe to me, make sure you subscribe to Yum Cars. And the third and final thing, which is how I'm actually gonna pick the winner, is you need to go to Yum Cars' latest video. I'll put it on the screen right here. That's the third 
thumbnail. Make sure you go over to that video because that's the only one I'm going to be choosing from. What I want you to do is go and comment on that video and tell me that when you're cleaning a car, what is your favorite bit to clean? Do you like cleaning the wheels the best? Do you like snow foaming the best? Do you like cleaning the glass the best? Engine bay maybe, that's quite fun. That is the only thing you need to comment. I will be checking, if when, once I pick the winner, I will be checking that you are subscribed to their channel and subscribed to my channel. Otherwise, I'll have to pick someone else. So make sure you do all three of those things and you'll be in a chance of winning this whole range. It is the, it's the full range apart from the wax and the undress. Those weren't launched when this got sent to me. Other than that, this is the full range. This is the smaller bottles, um, but uh, it's free for one, it's a giveaway. And number two, if you win it, you'll get a taste of each one of them. There's at least enough in there for sort of two or three car washes. So um, you'll get an idea whether you like them or not. And then maybe you, if you do like them, you can buy them in the future, um, the bigger bottles that is. I will just show you what you're in the chance of winning. These are all the bottles right here. We have got nine bottles, we've got the interior, We've got the deodorizer, the detailer, the glass, the wheels, the ceramic, the foam, the wash, and the dressing. So all these bottles will come with the triggers, so the sprays. I've got all them in the shed, I just didn't bring them out here. So if you want a chance to win this little setup, make sure you do those three things. Right, that's where I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little two-part detailing series on the Skoda. It was This thing was really filthy inside and out, um, so I'm really glad that it now looks uh, back up to some sort of standard. I know that not everyone enjoys the detailing videos. They don't usually do as well on my channel, um, but I do like every now and again to get out here, get the Yum Cars products out and just have a bit of fun. Uh, usually when it's a little bit warmer out here is when I like to do it, but I can't change the weather, so you gotta do what you gotta do. One last time, make sure you enter this giveaway. I'll probably draw a winner for within probably the week uh, so make sure you act quickly of course even if you don't win the giveaway if you want to check out any of the yum car stuff i'll leave a link in the description and you can use my code savage10 um, to get a little bit of discount off i highly recommend it i, I know i'm supported by them so they send me um, products to use but i wouldn't use them and i wouldn't be supported by them if they didn't do their job the products are made in the uk they all just work so well they make it easy for a novice like me to make a car look nice and shiny i appreciate all you guys support thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.